You are not supposed to be here. I never asked Claude to send for a doctor. He knows better than to go against my wishes. He wouldn't do something like this. Not without me asking him to, or without asking if he may. He knows that well enough. So why are you here? You weren't sent for by Claude? Who told you to come here then? I don't understand. Of course. Of course it was Hannah who sent for you. She's always doing things like this. Always going against my orders. Always making a mess of things. You should leave. I don't need you here. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need you here. So please, just leave. Before I have someone drag you out. What happened to me? What happened to me was I was challenged to a duel. And it didn't exactly go in my favour. I... I caught the edge of a sword more than once. The wound won't stop bleeding. It's rather frustrating. For you see, it doesn't just hurt. It's also making a rather disgusting mess everywhere. The blood, it seeps through the bandages. Gets all over my bed. And then it gets all over me. And if I didn't know any better, I would think that the amount of blood I've lost by now would be enough to kill me. I would think that I should be dead right about now. Though I suppose that's true for more than one reason. It isn't any of your concern. I do not need you to examine me. I don't need you to help me. Claude has been tending to my injury and... and... maybe... maybe it would be best if... if you examined me. I don't think Claude knows what he's doing. I... I get nervous when he changes my bandages. I don't trust him with this. He's very capable, but I do not trust him. I don't trust him to be around me when I'm like this. I... I apologize for being so rude to you earlier. I don't like it when strangers see me like this. Especially when I don't know why they're in my house to begin with. You understand that, don't you? Really? You've had other defensive patients? Patients have tried to hurt you. 
just to keep you away from them in the past? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so... so difficult. It's just... something like this. You understand how scary it can be, don't you? You understand how when a person is hurt like this, they want to protect themselves, even from the people who are trying to help them, because their mind, sometimes it can wander to unpleasant places, and it makes them rather fearful for no apparent reason. You do understand. Good. Good. Then, let's get on with the exam, shall we? I promise I won't... I won't hit you or try to hurt you unless you try to hurt me first. Or... If something hurts very, very badly, I can't make any promises for how I'll react. But it won't be out of ill intent, I promise. I... I just want to feel safe and okay again. Can you help me with that? Good, good. Then what do we need to begin? You... You need me to... Sit up? Yes, I can manage that. I think, anyway. <laughs> that... That hurts. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. I can sit up perfectly well on my own. Oh, really? There's no shame in needing help? What did you just say? You said... You said... I'm only... A child, after all. You think that you should help me because I am a child. A child who is hurt. You don't see me as weak, do you? You just see me as a frightened, injured child. A child who needs your help. That's what you see me as, isn't it? Then... Then I suppose I can allow you to help me. Please... Help me. <laughs> that... That still does hurt quite a bit, but... Not so much. Not like when I tried to sit up on my own. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Don't... Don't try to lift my shirt. I understand that. I understand that you need to do it for your exam, but... But please... Don't do that. Don't do that. I... 
I don't want to talk about it. Not with you. I don't know you. I don't even talk about it with Claude. Not the way I should. Not the way I need to. To get it out of my head. I can't talk about it with you. All right? Even if you're trying to help me. And I cannot have you lifting my shirt like that. Okay? Yes. Yes, I would be more comfortable lifting it myself, if you don't mind. Thank you. Yes. Yes, as long as you're gentle, you can remove the bandages yourself. Ah! Yes, it does hurt quite a bit when you do that. I think some of the blood has dried a bit. It makes the bandages cling to my skin. And it hurts when you remove them. It's all right. I know you're doing your best to be gentle. I can see it in the way you move. And I appreciate it. Really, I do. Why are you making that expression? Why... Why are you looking at me like that? Yes. Yes, this injury is just from a duel. Nothing more. Why? Do you think it would be from something else? How old am I? That is none of your concern. How old was the person I was dueling with? He was younger than I was. He... He should have been... Weaker... Than I was. No... No, I'm not lying to you. Why do you think that I'm lying to you? And why are you asking me questions like this? If... If his aim had been steadier, he would have killed me. And, and, what exactly did he do instead? He still managed to wound me enough that if I'm not careful, I'll die anyway. I need you to stay here. Please. I... I understand that you must have other patients. I can send Claude out to notify them, and he can find a way to make arrangements so that your patients are looked after, but... But I need you to stay here. I will pay you however much you want. Just say a number. And I will give it to you. But please. Please. Don't leave me alone with him. I. I think that if you leave. 
I think he might try to finish what that little brat started. What am I saying? If you leave, I think he might try to kill me. <laughs>